Hey, old uh, full throttle guy out here. Holler at your boy. You know, all the corny crap. Anyways, uh, dude, it's been a, a minute. Uh, the sun is actually out. Two days of sun, so I don't know how to act. If I look kind of translucent, it's because of the reflection of my albino colored skin now. Anyways, uh, out here dinking around with the Nova and the boonies. And um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the thermostat out on it. Boring stuff. If you haven't changed the thermostat out, do it on a, little, a scale of 1 to, to 20. This is a minus 5. It's, you know, easy work. Um, had a thermostat stick open. It was one of the fail-safe units. Uh, so don't know what's going on with that. But nonetheless, I'll be getting that done today. The car actually starts and has oil pressure. The only thing I could figure is when I threw the belt and cooked the motor for the second time, uh, basically I uh, burned the viscosity out of it using conventional. So I'm gonna put some synthetic and some uh, 50 weight. And I think it's like 550 or 540, some crap like that. Anyways, uh, to run that, and see what's up and see what the oil pressure looks like but it put out oil pressure even with the baked that oil uh, from before but I figured again um, after it hit you know over 220 degrees again you know after that one the last run on in gosh it was May uh, I figured let me see what's up but this thing I'm gonna nickname it Lazarus man because when you think it's dead and it's down and it's out it fires back up and it's like hey what's up you know just took a nap but uh, to show you the engine compartment again, it's a little bit on the filthy side, so forgive me. I think it's like 48 or something, maybe 50 something. I don't freaking know. I'm not a weatherman. But there's no snow and there's no rain, so that much I do know. Um, valve covers might look a little bit on the funky side, but I just wiped everything down with some uh, WD 40 to keep them from flash, you know, rusting and whatnot, you know, from sitting out in, uh, you know, soggy Oregon weather, um, literally since like December, late November, man, it's just like nonstop rain, just a handful of days of, of sun where you actually want to go outside and do something. So, you know, if you're not battling seasonal depression, you're going stir crazy from being inside a house all damn day long. But, um, I figured I want to check in real quick, say what's up. I might give some update footage once I get like the new, uh, thermostat in and just fire it up just for the hell of firing it up and get some content in that sorry it's been a minute since i posted still got the galaxy i've got a dodge dart which is kind of cool so i've got a little diverse portfolio some guys you know they only do one brand of car i don't discriminate i'm well, you know if it's got a motor uh it's got some performance and it's classic american muscle i'm all about it but uh, i digress so let me get to work and let's see what's up catch you in a bit Sun's down, <laughs> taking my ass inside. It's getting a little bit on the cool side. Got a brand new car cover. Uh, got a wrapped thermostat job, took like not even five minutes. Uh, I've never used a little Mr. Gasket reusable thermostat. Gaskets, it comes like an aluminum housing with a silicone built-in uh, gasket ass there, you know. Anyways, well worth the money. Uh, turned it into like a little, like I said, a five minute job, whereas you gotta scrape a gasket, put sealer, this, that, and the other thing. So, highly recommend it if you end up doing a lot of work yourself. And like I said, to do this um, thermostat replacement, you know, like I said, it's, it was well worth it and got a warranty on it, and I think I get like a $21 credit on it. So, anyhow, it's Sunday, gonna go watch some football, chill out for a little bit, and Try to get some more updates on a regular basis. I know I say that all the time, but I really mean it this time. I really, really do. Uh, so full throttle guy chilling out on a Sunday for getting back to the get back to the grind and trying to you know, get some cheddar. But uh, stay my run. I don't know. Uh, but uh, goddamn it, you cannot kill a big block Chevy. I guess I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna run it till the pistons you know come popping out the side of the block. We'll see what's up. But. You guys have fun, get out there, do a project, whatnot, take care of the fam, uh, take care of yourselves, and be kind. Uh, have a great one, and I'll catch up with you soon.